So, uh, we have our truth, so we have our universe. So now I rolled uh, my character. Uh, so the character, I'm going to try not to say so so much. I listen to that back, I say so an awful lot. Aya Legrand. Uh, Aya Legrand is a they then. We're the call sign of Phoenix. Uh, so I was thinking about Aya and Aya being a paladin. And I thought that is a good mix between uh, the sort of uh, the criminal hunter, so the bounty hunter type character, uh, or the investigator. And I quite like the idea of body armor. And so I picked the body armor path uh, from the criminal hunter. I can't remember the exact wording of it, and I'm using this to record it, which is what I've got the book on. Excuse me. So I like the, the choice of armor. Uh, the other choice was bounty hunter, the bounty hunter path, and I didn't like that because that's taking a contract, and that's not what uh, Aya is all about. And then I looked at the investigator suggestions of paths, which was Brawler and Sleuth. Didn't quite like the idea of Brawler because brawling in uh, sort of Mandalorian-esque, but I'm looking, I'm envisaging it more, uh, more like a uh, Space Marine. So more in the Space Marine or who are those knights from Fallout? But they've got rusty armor, but I'm imagining uh, white, almost, uh, uh, what are they called? Battle Sisters type armor. <clears throat> uh, uh, but uh, Aya is a, uh, an investigator as well, uh, because they, are, they solve problems and they, they track things down as well. Uh, your lost cat. Uh, so I picked the sleuth, uh, so which is where you swear an iron of to serve a murder, disappearance, theft, or other mystery. I also thought that gives a nice driving factor for why Aya is travelling. So though Aya, and I'll say in a minute what Aya's background vow is, uh, it gives a, a, a more driving factor to that. So uh, I, I did did that. Uh, so what else? What's next along there? I, I can't remember what comes next. Uh, some ways. So, uh, why has Aya left? So, Aya has left because she's been sent away on a mission. Uh, the mission that she's been sent away on is that greater mission because the uh, the paladins, which is a very f her family, is very orientated with the, the core of the paladin faction. So, I was thinking uh, there was an online thing with, and I've already got a couple of factions. So, I haven't quite got to that bit yet, but I've got some factions already. We have. The Vault Hunters as a faction, we have the Tyranid Cult as a faction, we have the Paladins as a faction, and so the Paladins have sent Aya off uh, with a greater purpose to uncover the threat of the Tyranid Cult to the Forge and the burgeoning uh, civilization which is starting to form within the Forge. Oh, someone wants to really talk to me, but I'm not going to talk to them. Uh, so we have that's the background vow. Background vow, I vow to uncover the threat of the Tyranid cult. So then next, I believe, was uh, her ship. Uh, sorry, their ship. Uh, uh, their ship is called the... Uh, it's because it's a ship, isn't it? That's why I said gendered, because ship, you think of gender. Uh, so their ship is called the Golden Future which is the named after their great-great-great-great-grandmother, uh, Captain Legrand. Uh, but their first name was Katrina. Uh, Exodus. Family. Weapon. Uh, Caritha, 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 Caritha Legrand, Captain Caritha Legrand. Uh, so the ship, the Golden Future, is given to them, given to Aya, 
by the Paladins. Uh, it's uh, named after the Golden Future. Uh, the inside of the Golden Future is it's crammed with wires and cables. Uh, it's because basically Aya looks after it by themselves. They travel by themselves, they look after it by themselves. So there are some conduits exposed, there are cables exposed. Basically Aya is halfway through repairing bits of the ship all the time. And so uh, although Aya presents us themselves uh, in very good order. Their armor is always kept clean, their weapons are always prepared, uh, everything is always good. The ship, a little bit less so. Uh, it's not Aya's speciality. Uh, so the inside is a bit exposed. The outside, uh, Aya keeps clean and keeps pristine. Uh, there are various uh, uh, panels which hide the weaponry of the Golden Future. Uh, the idea of the paladins are they come to solve problems, not cause problems. And so you don't turn up to solve problems uh, with all your weapon pods exposed. You deploy them when needed to, so you turn to your martial training only when you need to turn to your martial training. Uh, on board the Golden Future, uh, Aya has installed the uh, hyper-rare AI that was uh, inherited by them. Uh, which is called Legrand. Uh, so that's the, the overseer, the module overseer, which is uh, Aya's third asset, uh, which is your AI keeps watch over the vehicle systems and sensor data. When you secure an advantage or gain ground by talking through a situation with the overseer, you may roll plus integrity. If you do, take plus one momentum on a hit. So my thought was that uh, Aya will uh, stay in comms contact with Legrand uh, to seek tactical guidance and tactical help. Legrand knew uh, Aya's great-great-great-grandmother, Captain Legrand, uh, and so that, that could be quite a relationship that I could, I could work on. Uh, so we have next, so we have, I distributed uh, Aya's stats. So I gave Aya a three for heart, uh, thinking that Aya would be uh, interpersonal and various other things. A 2 for Edge, thinking that Aya has the range combat. And 2 for Wits, Aya is uh, a burgeoning uh, investigator. Uh, 1 for Iron, hand-to-hand -hand combat and various things like that. And 1 for, for Shadow, for Stealth. Aya comes in bright white Mandalorian-esque armour. Uh, Aya is not sneaking in the shadows very easily. Uh, set all the momentum to two with the stats. Uh, what do we have? Oh yeah, a description. So Isla Grand is in the early 30s. Short. So I used what I used was the uh, Table Fables modern book to do this, uh, rolling and also making some decisions from the tables. Uh, I was going to use Perilous Wiles. I used Perilous Wiles to find Aya's name. Uh, using the finish table because that's what I used uh, for Aya's great 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 great, great grandmother. Uh, I've forgotten the name again. Uh, someone wants me from work. Uh, so uh, Aya is in the early 30s again from that table. Uh, Aya has short is short uh, with this chiseled frame, uh, sharp facial features, inquiring dark hazel eyes. Uh, Aya keeps her head shaved. Uh, because it's it's easier just looking after shaved head or bald. Uh, Aya tries to remain well groomed, uh, wear simple military type garb when not in uniform, and the uniform is their armor. Uh, Aya has a large tattoo of a golden dragon uh, across her their stomach, uh, which covers a scar. Uh, that they gained when apprehending a people smuggler when they were in their early 20s. Uh, they're always upright and trying to do their best, but still with a personality that allows them to get on with people. So I watched Reacher uh, uh, the other day, and so I don't know whether the actor was doing it on purpose, but he moves around like a robot. Uh, 
which I thought was quite amusing the way he turns corners and just walks. It's either that or he's really not used to having that kind of bulk on him, that muscular bulk, which is quite heavy to carry around. Uh, I had that once on Taco. Uh, but it, he moves like a robot, so I can envisage uh, Aya doing that in certain spots, but being way more personable than Reacher is. So so Aya is trying to be the good paladin who solves problems and steps. So I thought that Reacher premise of Reacher basically, so I've read, a, I actually read that book that that series was based on. Uh, Lee Childs, I mean, it's very much boy's own fiction. Uh, <laughs> very, very much so. But anyway, so the idea of the drifter who comes in, solves problems and buggers off again. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, I've forgotten the actor's name, but from the series Kung Fu, all oh, loads of them. Uh, there's loads of drifters. Or the, the original Incredible Hulk TV series. Even the A-Team, really. Uh, people come in, solve problems, move on. Come in, solve problems, moves on. It's a nice premise for an ongoing story. Within then an overall arc, the A-Team proving their own innocence, which never got done, I don't think. Uh, they're probably still in the run now. So that is Aya. Uh, Aya has the piece of the ancient ship, uh, the golden future, which is what they swear their vows on. Uh, their armor, which is very important to them. Uh, I was almost thinking maybe having uh, like the, the space marine armor with the, the marks, the oaths or whatever they're called, uh, bits, but that, I don't know if that goes with this sort of premise, which is a bit, Wild Westy, uh, don't know about that, but that is Aya up until this point. Call sign Phoenix. I rolled that on the call sign table within the Star Forge book. I think that's it for now. Next, I roll for the sectors, which I will come back once I've done that and describe the different ship bits. And I find out because there's that table which has factions, but I have not seen that in the book yet, so I'll have a look at that too. That's it.